July, I've decided to try my hand at DIY lipstick because so many of you guys have been requesting it. So I'm going to show you how to make some non-toxic lipstick out of crayons. This is my lovely inexpensive palette and I'm actually wearing this corner one on my lips right now. And this is an extra special video because it's actually a back to school slash crayon collab with Jen from Cupcakes and Cardio. So after you finish watching my video, please go ahead and check out her channel and her video on how to make a crayon cake. It's super awesome and she has so many baking videos on her channel. She has how to make gummies, how to make a Candyland cake, how to make rainbow cakes and all different sorts of recipes so if you have not heard of her please go ahead and check her out you will not be disappointed I hope you guys are as excited for this tutorial as I am so let's just get into it begin by gathering some empty containers and then you're going to wash them with soap and water Once the containers are completely dry, you'll want to choose your favorite crayon colors. Fill a pan with an inch or so of water and then set a smaller glass ramekin inside to create a double boiler. Peel your crayon and set the pieces inside. I'm also mixing in a half teaspoon of coconut oil and a half teaspoon of Vaseline. A natural flavor is totally optional. Here I'm adding a dash of pure vanilla extract. Mix all of the ingredients together and once it's melted, you're going to carefully remove the glass from the pan and pour the contents into one of your small containers. And cleanup is a breeze. Just go ahead and wipe it out with a paper towel and you're ready to move on to your next crayon color. Here I'm showing you a really easy way to remove the wrapper from the crayon. Just be really careful if you decide to do it. Mixing the wax from one full crayon and adding one teaspoon of other ingredients will result in a very glossy and sheer product. To obtain a more opaque lipstick color, I changed the recipe. Now I'm combining two whole crayons and only half a teaspoon of coconut oil. With this recipe, my lips don't feel as greasy and there's a better color payoff. Even so, keep in mind that lighter colored crayons probably will not have as much pigment as the darker ones. Also, if you're looking for easy and even application, I recommend using a lip brush. I got mine from Target.
here's my color palette so far. I really love the way that these turned out and I'm definitely going to wear them all the time. And I even have extra containers so I can make more. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to go over to Jen's channel and subscribe to her. Check out her crayon cake video and all her other baking videos. You will not be disappointed as I said because there are so many delicious recipes over there and so many fun things going on. So please go ahead and check her out. Tell her that I sent you and like both of our videos pretty please with the cherry on top. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section of this video. You can also check me out on social media. I have a Facebook fan page, a Twitter, and my absolute favorite Instagram, which is Sarah Lynn T. So you can check me out on all those places. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day, and I hope to see you back here on Friday for Crafty Friday, which is my weekly DIY here on my So Craftastic channel. Bye! <laughs> what? To go out, uh, go. Ah, uh, sorry. Our our asses. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Ah, uh, take fifty million. And there goes the wind. <laughs>